This is part two of our teaching that we're, that we're doing from Psalm 91, talking about divine healing. And we're going to see how even in Psalm 91, uh, divine healing provision is made for us. But it, there's, a, there's a whole lot more besides divine healing, as we've already discussed in our first uh, recording that we did. And so I want to encourage you to go back and listen to, to the, uh, the first teaching that we did on this, if you haven't heard it. Um, and we're going to go through as much as we can. We won't get through today on this second session, but we'll, we will continue to go through every verse. There's actually 16 verses in Psalm 91, and there's so much, so much provision has been made for us through our Creator, Yahuwah. Um, I'm going to read, go back and read the first, I think I covered the first uh, five verses that on our first session. So I want to go back just so we have some kind of continuity here reading. So I'm going to go back and uh, start at verse 1. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of Yahuwah, He is my refuge and my fortress. My Eluahim and Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover me with His feathers and under His wings shall I trust. His truth shall be my shield and buckler. I shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand shall fall at my side and ten thousand at my right hand, but it shall not come near me. <laughs> wow, what confidence here. What, what faith being spoken here? Because why? He knows who his provider is. He knows that there is provision made for him. He knows the creator has given us his word. And that when, you, when you and I uh, recognize, in fact, that Yahuwah cannot lie, that he's, a, he's not a man that he should lie, and that when he tells us something, that uh, he will watch over and perform that, if we believe it and act upon it. Let me say here, say here right here now that there's a lot of people that just don't know, you know, of what's in this, 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 your scriptures. They have no clue. Even believers a lot of times have very little knowledge or information. And you know, Yahuwah said in the book of Hosea chapter 4, and actually that, that book is really pronounced Husha, is the Hebrew uh, Husha, is the prophet that wrote the book of that we refer to as, you know, Hosea? But that's again, that's an English made-up name. But Husha in chapter four, verse six, says, "My people." Then this is quoting from Yahuwah. "My people, are you His people? Do you belong to Him?" He said, "My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge." Now he's not talking about general knowledge or natural human knowledge. There, he's talking about revelation knowledge that's in the word in the scriptures that reveals to us his provisions that he's made for us because he said my people are being destroyed because they don't know they just don't know that's why Yahuwah has has uh, anointed certain people to be able to preach and teach and expound the word to, now you don't have to you can you can a, a person can have the ruach teach them the word and he's actually teaching the word through me it's just a gift and that's not that's not for me it's for for believers it's the gift of Yahuwah is one of the gifts that Yahuwah has anointed his his people with to expound the scriptures but it's for for you and I to gain information and revelation and I'm talking about revelation knowledge not natural information but I'm talking about to be able to see into the realm of the spirit to 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 see what the scriptures has to say about who we are what provisions have been made for us through our Father, through our Creator. And so the more that you know spiritually, the more you can avoid being destroyed by the enemy. Because we do have an enemy. The Messiah, Mashiach, stated in John chapter 10, verse 10, he said, the thief comes to kill, to steal, and to destroy. I am come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. Now, right there to me has always been such a help to me 
to be able to distinguish what things are from Yahuwah and what things are from the enemy. Because he said, the thief comes to kill, to steal, and to destroy. And things that come against you and I to, to kill us, to destroy us, to steal from us, are from Shaitan, are from Satan. But the things that give life, the scripture says in James chapter 1 verse 17, that every good and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. In other words, he, he doesn't change. If he's, the, the scripture declares that Yahuwah is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So if Yahuwah and Yahusha went about healing all that were oppressed of the devil or of, of Satan, of Shaitan, if in, 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 we can read in the past that he healed the sick, that it, it was his will to heal the sick then, then we can assume, not only assume, but we can, we can draw the conclusion that if he's the same yesterday, today, and forever, that if he healed then, he's the same Yahuwah that will heal us today if we'll trust him and what his word declares about him being Yahuwah Rapha, our healer. Oh, that's good news to know that. <laughs> it's good news that I can have confidence and trust that he's faithful to his word to perform it. But see, you've got to know the word first. You've got to know. You've got to have these verses. You've got to have the understanding. You can't just take it my word for it. It has to be a personal revelation to you that you know, that you know, that you know, that you know. <laughs> see, I know that I know that, I, that I'm born from above, that I have the Ruach in me. I know that I know that when I do leave this earth, that I'm going to be with Yahuwah. Now, I don't hope so. I know so. Now, the reason I know that is I know what the, the Word has to say. And I know I have the witness in myself. The Scripture says, the Spirit or the Ruach bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahuwah. <laughs> well, I have His Word for it. I, I, know I, I know that because of what his word declares about what he's done for me. Now, it's not based upon my own goodness or my own works or I'm not being boastful in myself. I'm boasting in his word. I'm boasting in the confidence that I have that the, the promises that he's made to me and you. So I have that assurance. Well, if you can have that same assurance in regard to healing, divine healing, you'll, you'll be walking in divine healing. In other words, you, your body will be made well and whole because it will manifest itself throughout your body. That revelation or that understanding of that. Okay, I didn't get very far with this, so we'll have to continue on our next session. But thank you for joining us this morning. And I hope the video doesn't blow too much for you. I know some of my paper just flew off over here. Uh, I hope the wind is not being too disruptive and you've been able to hear it. Please bear with me. It's much. I, I enjoy doing this much better outside. Hopefully, the winds will calm down some more before we get through. And uh, but share this with others. Um, continue to to let me know if you're being helped and blessed. And uh, Yahuwah loves you. I love you. Have a blessed, prosperous day in all that you do. And uh, look forward to our next session together. Shalom.